touch it, bring it, hey, play it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, I'm it, touch it, bring it, play it, hey, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, I'm it, touch it, bring it, play it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, I'm touch it, bring it, play it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, I'm touch it, bring it, play it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, I'm touch it, bring it, play it, Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Not pictured I woke up on the couch. That's kind of embarrassing to say, but I just came back home pretty late last night because I was hanging out with a friend and then I was just on the couch, you know, working on my computer, editing photos and stuff. And then I fell asleep on the couch and then I woke up on the couch like in the morning. And so like a couple of minutes ago, I just got off the couch to start getting ready for the day because I have to work later today. So anyway, the time right now is 11.07 a.m. and you can tell that I slept on the couch because my battery isn't fully charged. I normally charge my phone battery every night so it's like fully charged when I wake up but clearly because I fell asleep on the couch I did not charge my phone so anyway I just brushed my teeth so I could be at least somewhat presentable on camera but I'm gonna continue getting ready and then I will see you in a bit. Hey girls, I am back. So I just washed my face off camera and stuff and I brushed through my hair. I ran out of dry shampoo, so like my hair here is a tiny bit greasy. I'm thinking it won't be like too big of a deal today. It's not like I'm in a fashion show or anything like, I think I'll be fine. Anyway, I have my breakfast here. So in this cup, I have apple juice and in this bowl, I have noodles. And I don't know why my mom put like vegetables in it. Do I look like I eat vegetables? Like, out of all these vegetables that I could possibly eat, mm, it's just like ugly strong thing. Anyway, I brought all my things upstairs because, you know, I fell asleep with my computer on the couch and my backpack was like next to where I was sleeping on the couch as well. So anyway, now it's upstairs. So I think before I start, you know, putting on my makeup and hanging out the door, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and journal. I'm trying to keep up like good habits. And I'm also going to go through my agenda and see what I wrote for today and also try to start planning for the rest of the upcoming week because today is Sunday. But anyway, right now it is 11.45. I need to be at school by 1 o'clock today, so I'm thinking if I can leave within the next half hour, that would be great. Mm -mm. Okay, so I finished journaling and I finished eating breakfast. Now I'm gonna get ready. It's currently 12 3 p.m. So I just wanna quickly put my makeup within the next couple of minutes. But first, I wanna show you what I got yesterday. So yesterday I worked a soccer clinic and it was more specifically like an Angel City soccer clinic, which if you don't know, it's basically a women's soccer team that is based in LA. But anyway, so this is one of the things I got yesterday and it's basically an Angel City clear bag. Apparently it's like stadium friendly because stadiums apparently will only allow to carry clear bags within like a certain dimension. So this is stadium friendly. But yeah, it just says Angel City Football Club. It says 2023. I think it's like leftover stock. But regardless, that's one of the things I got. I also snatched up an Angel City t-shirt. So that's pretty cool. Um, Yesterday was my first time doing anything really like soccer related. I was there taking photos. So yeah, it was a really new experience for me. It was just a soccer clinic. So a lot of girls were there and they were just, you know, doing like a lot of different team soccer drills and stuff. And then at the very end of the clinic, they were playing like a scrimmage game. So, you know, very fun. Definitely, if I were a soccer player, I would have enjoyed that clinic. But yeah, yesterday at least, it was a very eye-opening experience for me. Right now, I'm going in with some sunscreen because I just want to protect my arms from the sun while I drive as well as my face. But anyway, what I do for work is I basically work in marketing. And my primary job is to like press buttons on the video switcher. So it's basically just like live multicam which that is you know what I'm used to doing oh by the way this is the sunscreen I use it's like some bum branded I've been using that sunscreen for quite a long while now and honestly I really enjoy using it also I got a new bottle of this primer because I use this a lot so, yeah that's what I do 90% of the time I just press buttons but lately I've been taking on like other roles like taking video and taking photos which I'm so grateful for because truly I love my work like I love doing what I enjoy doing like my 
interest, you know, they're very much involved in, you know, my work. So I know definitely like earlier during the spring semester when I was job hunting and looking for internships and jobs that I could get paid for doing, it was a struggle finding something that, you know, I actually like doing. Because personally for me, I don't want to waste my time working a job that I do not enjoy or find any pleasure in doing. So for example, anything that's like customer service based or food industry based like that, I feel like would not be the happiest experience for me. So definitely for sure when I was like looking for jobs and internships, I really wanted to do something that fit within my interest so I could actually, you know, enjoy what I'm doing so it wouldn't really be as much of a waste of a time, in my eyes at least, you know, and I just want to be happy, you know, and fortunately this job came along and I'm just so happy that I waited for this job rather than taking on a job like much earlier on and being really unhappy because I truly am so happy and I love my bosses. They're so cool and they're so nice and they literally encourage me to pursue my interests like that is one of the reasons why like I'm not just pressing buttons the whole time like literally yesterday again I was taking photos at a soccer clinic like lately I've been taking a lot of photos and both of my bosses they've noticed that I really enjoy taking photos so you know good thing they're letting me you know take on more like photography opportunities and when I brought up to one of my bosses that you know taking video and like video editing is definitely something I really enjoy doing he started giving me more like videography projects as well so I just really love my bosses as well I'm just so grateful I found this job because normally I feel like bosses don't really care that much dude I'm gonna be so sad when I leave the school and I don't get to work with them anymore because literally like having such a good work environment and doing what you love and getting paid for it like that is just such a privilege in today's world so I know that sounds really corny but I'm being so for real right now yeah so that's basically what I'm doing just marketing stuff but not like phone call marketing but digital marketing so like social media and things like that so I really don't have any set hours to work they're just like different opportunities that I can do that you know if I can do it then you know then I clock in and get my hours and then clock out you know and you know if I'm not able to make it then I just don't do it so like yesterday I worked in the morning today I'm working in the afternoon unfortunately I am still really bad when it comes to like applying mascara because I will always get it on my eyelids and just on my skin so definitely using like my cellar water to clean up all the excess mascara is a must for me you can already see like a drastic difference I look like a raccoon on one side and the other side looks normal although I do love a cute furry moment I do not want to make this a furry moment for me normally campus is closed on Sundays I'm gonna have to call campus police to let me into the office which campus police like is already aware that I'm gonna be showing up on Sunday because again like campus is supposed to be closed you're not supposed to be letting anyone inside the building but yeah but because there's an event I'm gonna be let in but yeah just know that I normally do not work on Sundays also this is like a new mascara I got it's like the essence lash princess the waterproof version and it's honestly like a really good mascara and it's so freaking cheap but anyway I am going with bronzer I would say after I apply mascara like my makeup routine is just very easy breezy it's just that it takes me so long to do mascara because it's just a really tedious process for me as for what I normally wear to work it's not like I have a set uniform I just wear whatever like if I show up in pajamas like I don't really think anybody would care but yeah like there really is no dress code for me I just come in wearing whatever also especially during the summer I've been popping into like the marketing office a lot because that's just where I live like I just love going into the office like it's just my safe space basically aside from the TV studio but during the summer again my TV production professor was in Hawaii he's back now oh I caught him up on all of the tea basically yeah I was so happy to see him I knew he was coming back like this past week but I didn't expect him to come back like so early in the week I was literally walking into the office and then I literally saw him walking out the door of the building so that was like a crazy like run-in experience and I was just so happy to see him and then I came to see him the next day in the studio because I had some things to deliver to him and I was just talking to him and getting caught up in all like the tea and just everything I need to tell him because like I do a lot of things with him basically but yeah aside from the tv studio the marketing office is also my safe space so like I would just go into the marketing office and like go on my computer and edit photos or do homework I just love going into the office it just also makes me feel so professional honestly I have no idea what to expect for today's event I'm in like a completely separate room from where it's happening so yeah I am so grateful for being able to work and do what I love I know I keep saying that over and over again but like that's how I genuinely feel and I really 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 love my bosses and the whole work environment and everything and I love being in the office I feel like typically people don't like going into the office because like trauma and stress or whatever but 
but I love being there. When the school year starts, I'm gonna be like heavily immersing myself into my work. Not only am I taking five different classes, planning on adding on a sixth class, um, I already know that I'm gonna be slammed with like a lot of different events to cover. And you know, I'm just really excited. Like, yes, it's a lot of work, but I also just value the experience and all of like the things I'll learn from all these opportunities that I'm getting. And just like, is it really work if you really enjoy what you're doing? Cause that's how I feel. But I'm just so glad I can call what I do work. Cause like, not only does it make me sound and seem really cool, and I'm just really satisfied with my life right now. I think definitely my high school self would be really proud. I was so depressed in high school. And I've been, you know, pretty depressed in college as well. I mean, that's just a normal thing when you're just mentally ill. But definitely in high school, I literally did not think that I would actually, you know, make it to high school graduation. Here I am now in college, being able to do this for work, you know? And even though it is community college, I know that community college is frowned upon in like the typical Asian American household. At least my parents were not very supportive at first. But definitely I'm at a place in my life where I'm just really happy about where I am and how far I've come and just what I've been up to and all the things that are coming my way. Like I am just so happy and excited. I'm just really full of joy. Like I genuinely wish high school me could have seen this. And I really wish, you know, my high school self knew that, you know, there is a way out and things will get better. Cause truly I am so happy right now. Like you genuinely do not understand. Now I'm going in with highlighter. I use this highlighter basically every day. This is my go-to highlighter. It's just really easy to use and just really flattering for every day. I definitely want to do an everyday makeup routine. But I just don't know when to do it because right now I want to focus on like school content because I'm going back to school but definitely at some point later this year I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial. My skin also has been clearing up a lot. A little while ago my skin was going through purging so basically I was growing all these like little red bumps in my face because I switched some skincare products in my routine. So yeah, that's just how your face reacts normally when you switch products, but purging is just letting out all the gunk so your skin can start fresh, if that makes sense. Like, it'll get worse before it gets better, but yeah. My skin is finally getting better, and because my skin has been clearing up, my makeup has also been looking better as well. Like, that's what I've noticed. Also, this isn't Urban Decay setting spray. It's actually the e.l.f. setting spray, but the green bottle. But of course, like, when I got a new bottle of that e.l.f. setting spray, of course, right away the spray did not work so I had to put in an empty bottle so this it's pretty misleading but I know what it is so that's all that matters I've also been using this setting spray too and I've enjoyed using this setting spray as well it's the Milani make it last original but anyway that's it for my makeup now I'm going to show you what I'm wearing and also pack my work bag I'm just trying to dress like really comfy and cozy so I'm wearing this teddy bear club beach shirt and of course my Nike shorts my average everyday outfit is basically a t-shirt and shorts so are you really that surprised honestly I could probably do like a what I wear in a week video and I'd just be wearing the same outfit every single day. It's hot. I don't really have anyone to impress. So I'm just gonna wear whatever that makes me feel, you know, good and comfortable on the inside. So this is my work bag. It's just basically a spare backpack that I use that isn't my school backpack. So I just take whatever I need in my school backpack and I put it in this Kankin bag so I don't have to carry as many things and I also just don't have to like move so many things if that makes sense. In my head it makes sense. So yeah, it's just my work bag. I just pack a lot less things in here. I really only just pack when I need to pack. So the bare necessity is like my computer and my computer charger. I might make a video telling you what I normally put in this backpack. But yeah, like I also have like my hard drive and a little converter. I still have yesterday's photos to upload and send to my boss. And I also want to post those photos myself. So I just need to look through and find my favorites. But anyway, that I'll just worry about when I get to school. Like when I get to school, it's not like the event is starting just yet. Like our call time is just earlier. So we had time to set up everything and stuff like that. So here's my work bag. Here is my phone. It's charged at 71%. But it's okay, I'll charge it more in the car and I think then my phone won't die on me when I'm at school But yeah, it is 12.28. I definitely wanted to leave a couple minutes ago But I also have no sense of time. So um, anyway, now I'm gonna go to school. So I'll see you all downstairs Hi, baby. Oh, my baby. Oh, my coochie -wichie. For whatever reason, this is Nolan's new water bowl and it's so fucking big and so fucking fat. Mm. Oh my baby, I have to go. Let's go pee pee poo poo first, okay? Come on baby, let's go pee pee poo poo. Go pee pee poo poo, go 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 go. Oh, I'm a good baby. But anyway, yeah, I'm just waiting for him to pee before I leave the house because he will be home alone. My parents went out and also my older brother went out too, so. Okay, come in, come in, come in, come in. Oh, my baby. Who's my good boy? Sit down. 
Sit down. Come on. Sit down. Um. Ow. Um. Ow. Um. Okay, it's inevitable. I'm gonna be a little late, but that's okay, I think. Because I am running a little late, um, I'm just gonna like skedaddle to school now. This is my fit. Very comfy, very mindful, very demure. And this is Nolan being a good boy. Oh, my baby, be a good boy for me, okay? Okay, my baby, I love you. Oh, my baby. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'm gonna leave the house now. Hey girls, it was kind of lively in Ralph's, but yeah, I just stopped by to get a Celsius from the refrigerator. So that's why it's still like pretty cold and frosty. You see, I normally cannot open it with my nails, so I just go in like my house keys or something like that just to lift up the tab for me because I don't want to break my nails. Mm, okay, I can fuck with this. It's giving medicine. Oh yeah, it's watermelon flavored, so it tastes like watermelon medicine, but I also drink it because it still doesn't taste that bad. Celsius is just like my everyday go to caffeine. Ghost is actually crack for me. So yeah, Celsius is like a good everyday that doesn't make me feel too you know but anyway uh yeah so that's why i drink celsius every day but i ran out of celsius at home and i've been out but definitely this week i need to go to costco and get more celsius that's where i normally get my celsius because it comes in like a bulk pack you know okay watermelon and i'm gonna head to school now so i'll see you all there hey girls this is the most driving footage you're gonna get i am in a very empty parking lot because again no one's supposed to be here on sundays oh, okay there are cars on this floor okay i'll just um yeah i'm driving right now this is yet again i have not filmed myself while driving in a really long time but anyway yeah i'm here now i am a little late but that's fine um yeah let's find some parking just suck this in you know why because i don't know the next time i'll film myself driving low-key it's like kind of dangerous to film a drive wait this is kind of fun like a little oh okay i need to make another drive with me did i say it was dangerous completely however this is kind of fun like low-key i look like I look like an Uber driver when I do this. Like, okay, driving instructor. Except this time, I won't actually, like, sexually harass my students. <laughs> okay, I'm here now, so I'm part. But yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you all um, next time. This might be a bonus video, honestly. Medicine. Cheers. Okay, bye, horse. Peace. Push a beat. Yeah, push a beat. Turn me up. Turn me up, beat. Uh-huh.